Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's uh, cash flow digital. It's just Jose is laughing at Mike there. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make the assumption that that's laughing at the insult towards me, um, which I'm always happy for. Insults are good. Uh, but before we go into any insults, check out ODYS, guys, um, if you're interested in age the means. But insult-wise, don't put them in the, the live stream. Put them in the comments. All abuse. Hashtag roast Brad. Yeah, hashtag... did that happen last week? I never checked back in on it. I oh, did they do Everyone's yeah. scared, I guess. I mean, I be. it's hard to hurt my I... feelings. I don't have any. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt, dude. We were watching. Have you seen... Go ahead, dude. Sorry, Craig. No, I was going to say, Chris <laughs> Alex can fucking give Brad some abuse. What are you guys all scared of? So hey, tell me anything I haven't heard before. Uh, I was, it's not SEO, but I'm going into it. Watching this, uh, it's called, uh, I don't it's a dating show on Hulu or one of those streaming things, right? And uh, it's a bunch of comedians that sit there and make fun of people going on a date, right? And mm -hmm. this chick has this dude meet her at this bar called Prison Bar. <laughs> and as they're sitting in there, bro, she's literally talking about like, you know what's your how do you want to be executed like would you rather be like injected all this stuff that sounded like okay she's funny dude she's funny but then he says injection and she goes like all seriously and i thought of it because of the emotion thing because she's had no emotion on her face this whole time she's got the thousand yard stare sociopath look she goes are you sure it i know what that's like yeah. minutes for you to die when you do it that way <laughs> <laughs> the details bro and i was just like I looked at my wife, I'm like, oh, you were right. She's nuts, dude. I thought she was just funny. I was all, this is cool. I would suck at dating, dude, because that chick would be the one that I'm like, oh, this chick's rad. And then, then you get her home and she's stabbing you in the neck. <laughs> she goes, I went on this one date and he had cow's blood on the wall. Like, it was weird, bro. But um, anyway, right, we're going we're gonna to try to become digital marketers today. I, I think we're losing time too on our quiz. So Google actually released a career certificate um, in digital marketing through Coursera. All right. So this mm -hmm. is costing me money to do this, but we need to do it anyways. Um, it's cool because it came up and it said bottom line, Mike couldn't pass it without. Yes. I, I'm trying to get this. <laughs> <laughs> I need help. Comments. I need help to get my digital marketing certificate. Okay. Um, and it said it popped up as I'm going in and it goes, uh, you're on the honor co code. Uh, do not ask for help. Do not look for answers. I'm like, oh, shit, dude. So I'm probably going to get my account banned, but uh, that's all right. Uh, so the first question for the week. How much time do we have? We have, it's still on 50 minutes. So maybe it's not tracking down. I'd say maybe like 48 minutes. Yeah. I Did you watch that Gypsy King that. fight, Craig? Since we're trying to waste yeah. time. With Mike, yeah. yeah, whoosh, you know, it didn't even uh, look like he caught him that hard, but he went, he, no. dude. Are, are you feeling good, Craig? Can you can you pass this this quiz right now? We know you can. That's why you're asking her help. All right, let's. What's the first whoa, question? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Are you feeling good, Craig? Can you can you pass this this quiz right? I had a browser open up, and all of a sudden, I heard Craig's voice. Like, well, it could have been much much worse. It could have been. It could have been. But uh, <laughs> first question. For weekly challenge one is what terms refers to the buying and selling of goods and services online? E-commerce. Online. There you go, Brad. It's online digital marketing. Digital oh, online marketing, digital marketing, e-commerce, digital channel. I we think got this. we got this. All right. E the next question for one point. Digital marketing helps businesses do what? Select all that apply better serve customers, process online transactions, build trust and inspire loyalty. Click all of them. I yeah. I wonder, does it help them process online? I, I'm going to overthink this. I'm e commerce. Digital yeah. marketing. Oh, yeah, I guess it wouldn't help. I would pull out the process online transactions, but yeah, get rid of that. Them. We'll yeah. see. Just worth two. Point. With digital marketing, you can provide customers Personalized communication directly through channels such as email and social media. Which advantage of digital marketing does this represent? So you can 
reach. Okay, let's read that again. Or I should pull up the screen and get my account banned. Um, with digital marketing, you can provide customers personalized communication directly through channels such as email and social media. Which advantage of digital marketing does this represent? Reach more people, build relationships with customers, get faster results. Your results are easy to measure. I would say build relationships with customers if it's email and social yeah, media. If I could only pick one, yeah. Yep, it's one, not all. Yeah. All right, number four. We've got- How many are there? 10. Oh, okay, let's go. We'll get through it fast. Um, which of the following statements regarding working in a marketing career is generally true? Marketing coordinators tasks at a company are often disconnected and unrelated. That's my experience. <laughs> um, a digital marketing coordinator and e-commerce analyst often share very few of the same skills. You are likely responsible for a wide range of marketing tasks in a small, in a small business, a wider range in a small business than a larger business. And specializing in a marketing field that aligns with your strengths is not recommended. I think it's the small business, large business thing. Yeah, sure. I wasn't paying attention for that one. Which of the following okay. statements are true in digital marketing? Yeah, we'll go with that. Which of yeah. the following best, best? He fucking fails this shit. That's great. Which of the following best describes the quality of being curious as a digital marketer or e-commerce analyst? What's a bi-curious digital marker? <laughs> being curious. <laughs> but I, am curious. I was going to say. So what describes the quality of being curious as a digital marketer? Communicating, communicate insights effectively to an audience. Seek out answers about people, what they want, how they think, and what motivates them to take action. Use analytical, critical thinking to, act, to collect and organize information to spot patterns and solve problems. Highlight unique qualities and get customers' attention in creative ways. What do you have? Craig or Brad. I'm a visual yeah, learner because I space out every time you read something. So I have to read I'm gonna, give me the, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the screen then. I'm gonna stop reading to your ass. Here we go. We'll just break all the rules. Oh look, here's someone doing it. Fucking hell. Image SEO king eh? Hey. Aren't you the image SEO king? I thought I saw I am somewhere. yeah yeah. I'm what is image king. SEO in your in your opinion? Craig, what is image SEO? It's yeah. Are picture. you trying to rank the image? Or are you trying to are you trying to use images to rank the page? What what are you referring to? That we, in this particular instance, it was us just trying to rank an image, um, and uh, oh shit! Wait a minute, Moss is trying to share the screen, um, but yeah, the but people. What is image SEO? They were leveraging different platforms and it was appearing in different places and it wasn't just image search. It ended up people were going after GMBs, calling themselves image SEO king. Yeah, it was just a free for all as, yes. as you always get with SEOs. They, they yep. didn't listen to the directive, rank an image. They went gung ho and fucking grabbed GMBs and everything. Yeah. Why would you yeah. waste your fucking time and effort getting a GMB for that? I don't get it. But anyway. Yeah. Let me make this screen bigger. All right. Number five. Number five. We're on number five. Push the point. They I think use analytical thinking. Brad, you got one too? Yeah, that would probably be it, I guess. I think it has to do with bi curiousness. Yeah. I'm going to say that I would go with number f seek out answers about people, but we'll see what contains your samples of past work and demonstrates relevant work experience portfolio. portfolio. Which of the following <laughs> roles is when you work for a single company to market and sell their products in house. Yeah. In house. Fill in the blank is a role where you part when you partner with them joint venture wait agency full-time employment in-house and internship partner with companies i guess they want that yeah, to be agency, agency but yeah. i would never describe it that way um that's weird that's gonna throw me off and make me hate them 
optimizing paid advertising campaigns, managing an online marketing presence and monitoring web analytics and are tasks typical for which e-commerce role level? I don't fucking know. Stra yeah, strategy, associate, associate. Sure. What do you think? We'll yes. What do you say, Craig? Uh, yeah, yeah, go for that one. Uh, which of the following are typically job responsibilities for an e-commerce analyst? I don't know about that. Uh, B. Uh, sure, generate desire. Yeah. B, C. Interactions for sure if you're analyzing, right? I mean, you could do D as well. B and C for sure. Let's do that. Because you're analyzing, but I don't know about D. Scotch pimp. <laughs> I'm ahead of the game. What do we get? 80? got 85%. That's better than high school. I have processed online transactions. And... This one was wrong. The one I said I disagreed with you on. I'm better than both of you. But mine was probably wrong too. What was the answer? It doesn't tell me. Well, this that's is useless. Video, how we find out. But did we get the certificate? Oh, well, dude, this is just the first week, bro. Oh, fuck. Like, what do we have to get in the course? What's that? What do we have to get in the course? I think you just have to get like a passing grade, dude, like a C. So I think this means we got the certificate, dude. We're, we're not qualified to um, work uh, in digital marketing. Make that the title of the video today, Craig. How to get a web, or what is it? <laughs> How to get a web certificate from Google. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. <clears throat> now we can go into real talk. I got Could you it. imagine someone like searching for it, seeing this video, thinking it's a webinar about that, like actually teaching someone how to do it. And they watch the whole fucking uh, YouTube stream and they're like well this is useless right who's the gypsy king and why is he on fire who's the gypsy <laughs> <laughs> oh, and who's man. moss and what does moss mean is that randy moss i don't that know was moss messy marvin uh let me see there was a really cool uh do we have any questions too i don't see a lot of yeah. chatter I think it's because we were. Yeah, yeah really everyone cool. thought that Craig was dead, so, so they skipped today. Journal as an article. Jesus. What? Look at Gary Wilson on his Instagram. Is that a burrito? Yeah. Looks delicious. What? I love Why that. Never... I like the way you eat that burrito, Gary. I do. Too. It's turning. You know what? That is what a curious digital marketer. <laughs> Well, that, if I looked it up and there was a picture, analyzing it. Yeah, I'd analyze that. Go on. I'd analyze it all. <laughs> Any of you guys? Put hey, Craig. In the chat. I was, I was <laughs> listening to a book. It's called Unsexy Business. If you were to start a business that's not like internet marketing, but you, you could technically use internet marketing to like drive sales or leads or whatever, what would you choose? Probably. Can't be like web design, SEO. It can't be like marketing for other people related. But like, what unsexy business would you pick? It's like not techie, but you can back it up with like your marketing skills. Jesus Christ! Uh, I don't know property deals. A pro source like property. Of property. You, you would do real estate then? Yeah, real estate because you can get like, five grand a pop per lead. You're not selling leads, though. You're you're taking. You're the one consuming the leads. Yeah, like you could be a real estate agent, and you're you you boosted up your with your internet marketing because you you have a GMB and you push at the top and you're getting all these leads and you run a real yeah. estate agency yeah. or whatever. But it would yeah. be what though? Dude, you can make so much. Yeah, you can make so much money from that. Something that's got high ticket. Um, yeah item uh, is the way forward like i know i don't know you guys what would you do mike have you ever thought of it what was the question if i was listening to a book called unsexy business right yeah. and it's all about like um this one guy was a debt collector he became he started a debt collection agency 
and it's stuff like that mattress store stuff like that if you could pick something that you had to do or that you wanted to do outside of internet marketing so you can't provide web design seo but you can market your own company using your current skills like you you can get a gmb you push it up get all these leads into whatever unsexy business it is um, what would it be? What would the business be that you pick? I literally have a, a business plan on a fucking paint studio, bro. A paint studio? Like you're painting people's walls and stuff or what? Uh, not painting, not local services, fucking painting and <laughs> art and shit, bro. Like that an art is, studio. Yes, there's money in it, but that is what I would do. Nice. I would walk away and paint shit for the rest of my life. Did you paint that painting beside behind you or here? That's my wife's actually. She painted. She that. painted that? Yeah. Nice. She's much more skilled than any of us. Than me, for sure. Yeah. So she painted the walls too. And then what's up? I'm going to, I was I was I was going to say uh, I'll let you finish first and then I'm going to ask Brad what he what he would do because I'm assuming he wants us to ask him something and he's going to come up with some weird No, I have there. nothing. That's too. But no, really, like, actually, there is one, and it wouldn't be what I would be doing. It's with someone that lives here, and it would be in home building, uh, and it would be log home homes. Building. Would you be, sell, like, you're you're the home builder then? Like, your company? Yeah, that you no, no, no. We, we're doing, but yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. Um, the thing about that market is, is that you actually can do the work. You can actually sell plants. Um, you can sell the lumber and the, and the milk shit. Like, yeah, and there's, we got, there's a lot right here, you know, nice. and that's where he yeah. does shit. So. That's interesting. That's Honestly, cool. what I would do is go to here. I would go to, I'm not going to bring up my screen or anything, but I would go to whatever um, affiliate you have for the local businesses. And I would look for one that yeah. looks to be paying decent. Uh, COVID cleaning might be a good one to start right now. Um I wouldn't be an electrician because I don't really know how to do that. All of those for you, for me, if you listed those, I, I couldn't do them, you know, unless I had a national uh, franchise. Yeah, I would go out and I would do like, uh, who's the guy that uh, Jimmy had as a client in Utah? ServPro? I yeah. would start like a franchise. Junk removal. I mean, Jordan talked about doing that for fucking ever. Well, we did it. I mean, I did it with Jordan and Locksmith. And yeah. it worked. it's just, it's a lot of work. And you have to work with people. You have to be working with it. It has to be stable, dude, with the people you're, you're working with. So, um, and I don't know if out here I could find the partners that I'd want for that. Yeah, but I would want to be looking for something that I could primarily keep online. So it's like what, like I wouldn't do wildlife control because I'm not going to go out and get squirrels or anything. Um, I'd look for something that I can churn and burn. I wouldn't want to do tree service. I could probably start like a, if you could find subcontractors, I mean, look at Fergie, like all the construction shit that he did. He took yes. what we taught him he in uh, the very first NFG and it became, he became, I don't know if he was a millionaire before. He did. He, he did. He, he, he took it brick and mortar like that and yeah. he went pretty much multi-state and he, he turned it into multi-million dollar business. I would probably ultimately buy like end up my goal would be to buy like a paving company or something like a local paving company um, and then really just like build it up something that already has the infrastructure there. I'd go something blue collar, though, because I think that's going to be recession proof. It is. It's, it's going to be relatively inflation proof because um, a lot of the I'd look for something that um, has some pricing power. Um, yeah. Even like um, tax debt relief or something, that's got to be easy to fucking learn relatively. Um, I wouldn't want, I mean, you could do long distance moving if you have a few trucks. Uh, logistics you could do. Um, Honestly, like things like dumpster rental and those kind of things, depending on yeah. where the market is and where you have your location. There's a lot of things that um, are interesting to me. Like Sue Bell used to do a bunch of dumpster rental with his She something. looks like a dumpster rental. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Dude, oh, something like that. Yeah, like a um, what's the, at the uh, the office? They have a concierge service where like you'll throw yes. your trash outside and do that, and they can't find good companies. And it takes like a crew of people to come up to like every single fucking door and just clear it out every night. And I, I gotta assume that that's hard to hire for. Um, but imagine getting in with like two or three 
large apartment buildings, and that's all you have to hit every Dude, single night. Micah, Micah is doing some pretty sick shit um, with like stuff related to ranching and yeah. cattle and dairy farms. Um, I know what niche, what localized niche he was doing before. Is it the same? The one with the water? No, different. Yeah, different. No, yeah, he, the business that they have is like there's not another product like it. It actually avoids a lot for these ranchers, and it's um, like that kind of thing when you get in there. Like I've got a rancher buddy here because in Idaho they're putting they're trying to tax these these ranchers like so much for each head of cattle. It, to the point where it makes no sense to, to grow beef anymore. They're literally trying to push out the fucking farmers so they can control the food, right? Well, so he's- Do looking, they want the industrial farms in? They they want everyone. Like my buddy that I'm talking about right now has 800 head and they want $2,000 a fucking head, dude. How much can you sell a cow for? It's not that much um, more than two. It's like I pay for a half beef, I'll pay 400 bucks. So yeah. it's more than you can make on the beef, dude, on the hoof, yeah. right? And did you ever watch The Ranch on Netflix with Ashton Kutcher? No. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, I did. The one where the divorce and shit, like uh, the parents get divorced or whatever. Or... The parents have been divorced, I think, for a long time. Okay, well, that's what I mean. Like, it starts in their divorce. And, like, yeah, it's got Sam Elliott in it and shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your conversation reminds me of that, though, like the hardships and the people, yeah, the commercial no, farmers coming in buying up everything. I can talk about wolves and how wolves affect shit when you don't can't prove it was a wolf kill too. But so he's looking for other things, and what they've got going on are a new generator that's like super freaking efficient for like industrial um, warehouses and stuff. And there's just a lot of shit out there you can get your hands into that make a lot of sense. Um, yeah, that's something I've, I've. The ultimate goal would be to do that. Um, I mean, if I could automate an agency, that would be best. But fucking, that's that's hiring a lot of people. The problem is, is with agencies, you have to have somebody interfacing with the client, dude. It is. Yeah, that's our, uh, the PM role. was agency, When we tried to scale client. the agency, the PM role was the hardest one to fill. Yeah. You can train an SEO. Yeah, you can train an SEO to do all of it really, really easily and effectively. Um, to be able to PM properly and to be able to sell properly, it takes a little bit more effort. You have an agency, right, Craig, or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a, a project manager like on staff? Do you just have one? Do you, do you have so many clients per PM or how do you break it out? Uh, so my agency is a small agency. Um, uh, how many clients? Less than 10. Yeah. Um, yeah. We always, I mean, Mike and I just take clients as, you know, as they come along, we don't chase them or anything. And it has to be, it has to make sense. We turn away more people than they. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we turn like nine out of ten down if they've got yeah. the real budget and the real shit yep. then we'll do it and and i've got a business partner who does the the project management i don't really? have a fuck out do with it which is why i couldn't tell you how many clients we've actually got yeah <laughs> i don't care um, is the uh, the reality as long as the uh, check's clear yeah hmm. as long as the check's cleared he does all the client management all the meetings all hmm. the other shit in the team do all the work so it's fairly hands off for me uh, and it's stupid not to have it because the amount of leads I generate um, just by doing what I do and, and talking yeah. on here and doing all the other stuff uh, it's stupid to just throw them in the bin uh, yeah. but we, we're obviously very do you select. sell do you take the leads that you don't accept and like uh, send them to another agency that's I mean I feel like you're if not then you're leaving money on the table but I'm sure you are yeah well, I, I I help a lot of local guys out um, yeah. that I know, um, and and pass certain leads their way and, and pass work around and all that kind of stuff. Like, not not just locally, you know. Even if people come to me asking for stuff, if there's someone out there I can say, "Oh, that dude's really good at this," you know, I'll, I'll pass them on. So it's mm -hmm. uh, it's certainly something I'd rather help others with though that, that we are up and coming and, and trying to make some money i'm quite happy to shovel money their way like anyone comes to me for web shit like web development i pass yeah. them to that guy paul yeah. hogden just yeah I'm paul's good. Interested. Fuck that shit and, and paul's good at it and that's his business and um, so i yeah I, I give paul work and, and loads of other nice. people work so yeah i'm not leaving money on the table as long as someone gets the money i don't really give a fuck Dude, I know someone who helped. He's actually, I, I need to tell you about it at some point, Mike, because um, it was interesting. Um, but the number one skill probably that I've attained isn't even SEO. It's uh, lead flow management. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
And I know someone who's getting 20 grand a month just from, he's like, he, he was set up through lead flow management and get the 20 grand a month. He'll go into somewhere else and say, Hey, you're leaving money on the table. Cause you're just getting, you know, Dude, X, Y, and Z to make money is to go yeah. in and have the instant wins where you're making them another 20, 30%. It's always been, yeah. the way to he's, it. and he's setting it up to where he's getting 33% or whatever extra money that they make off of the, the rehashes and shit like it, that. Understanding interesting that. model. Yeah. Yeah, understanding the the back end like that can instantly walk you into projects. Like people yeah. get like they don't understand it. If they don't have a number system, they don't have a way to to distribute leads or anything. Being able to do that will mm -hmm. put you in projects and pay you like that for sure. Yeah, and sure. it's free money to the other people. You you could ask for fifty percent if you wanted to. How much how much uh, do you want to take? Uh, we, for a while there, sure. bro, we, were, we were literally just selling based off of like page optimization and percentage increase, to be honest. And it was making yeah. good money, dude. Like when you can walk in, like confidently say to someone, I'll make you another 10% or 20% on top of what you're doing right now without you spending anything else. Just give me like three points on that or whatever. Um, Especially dude. when you say that you're not going to take any money until yes. they're making money. Yeah. Because then they've got nothing to lose. It's complete um, risk reversal is what Jay Abraham calls it. So, All right, Flavia. Flavia. She needs help. Uh, fuck, I still use – is it a she? Is Flavia a female name? I don't yes. Know. Yeah. I've it's got, got a name. By the way, don't, don't take my word for it, though. Um, no, it is. I mean, it, it, the, the male Slavio. I mean, it, it should be unless, I mean, you never know. People are both now. So, yeah. They did. <laughs> um, but I'm not saying that here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I still use uh, Surf Shaker quite a bit. Um, what's the one that creates the HTML pages? Is that MPC? Mass page MPC, uh, Magic Page. <laughs> I think uh, Corey just smashed a couple things with that one. Um, and, so uh, I Magic could recommend page. that yeah. and Surf Shaker. Yeah, it's whatever you know how to use. Um, what I'm seeing now is if you get an Otis domain or something with some some links already going to it, um, it helps and do just small um, small build outs. Guys, so. you know Pandora Box. If you really want to go and do desktop software, still kills it. But like no, I don't want to. Stick with Surf, Surf Shaker or or like Magic Page or something like that. Yeah, I don't, I think all of them are still working to an extent. You just got to. I mean, GSA is still working if it you want to use it, but I don't yeah, know how to use it. So. You know what I mean? Like it all fucking works. There's only like so much we can do in SEO to make it work, and then just use the right tools for what you want to do. Yep. Um, my, right now, my favorite freaking link building tool is freaking Sipel, dude. And like, I'm a freaking Sipel link building kick, you know? And uh, I don't think anyone fucking talks about that. But um, you can do whatever. Like, if you have tools and you understand the market, you can use anything, like replace shit with whatever, dude. As long as it will do what you want it to do with, like, a, a, with spin tax and um, publishing the posts in a manner that you like the way it links, you're good to go, really. Um, and but Brad made a, I think you made a really good point about the smaller build outs, dude, and the, the tighter groups. Yeah. So that's what I, I do. know what she's trying to accomplish. Yeah, I wish I wish it were still back in the day where you could pump out 30,000 page sites and they would like get indexed and you take all, over the first 10 pages. But um, it's funny, dude. <laughs> we used to always say you're not an SEO until you you've taken over page one for at least one turn. So, In if you see rocks, Robert Beal what, says, "What do you guys think of what live IRLs fans seen? Should I interview music market experts?" Find some. I'm sure there's that? there's got to be money in it, right? If you know the industry, I just don't like dealing with musicians. So, just capitalize on society and and only interview like professional women that are in music and like just point out the fact that you are are helping women and, and everything and you'll do very well Craig. Josie and the putty cats. Yeah. yeah no doubt, dude. <laughs> that is <dude. laughs> <Memory. laughs> oh. anyway. many like jokes, man. I think he Glenn said cycle. Psycho. <laughs> Psycho. Psycho. Oh, dude, we got a new one. Yes, it's like it, it edges really well, dude. 
Psycho, yeah. psycho link cycle. building edges. Cycle. No, I said sight bulb. Yeah. <laughs> James Moore is also asking, what was that tool? Yeah, link cool. I, I just, it, it's, <laughs> I, 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 I love it for what, for the way that I like to build sites and build networks. But um, yeah, no, sight bulb, not cycle. Say cool. That's a classic. And um, that has. I'm going to say Link Wheel Bandit. Link Wheel Bandit. Yep. Oh, I heard that. You remember that? Yeah. Remember I when know. um uh, Jimmy no came out? Link Wheel Bandit. I'm kidding. And uh, he's like, yeah, Das is just broken Link Wheels after like three years of teaching oh, it yeah. or whatever. It's funny. It's just not everything is it, it, dude. It's all freaking tears based on different theory and stuff, dude. It's yeah. Like it, we will really like maximize. What's up? The shit from two thousand and eleven on Link Wheel Bandit. Never even heard of it. Oh no! It, it, it actually was pretty effective, dude. Um, because it would build two point super fast, and you would have Link Wheel super super fast. Dude. I would, uh, I use someone on Fiverr to build my link wheels back in the day and it worked. You know, it's funny because, uh, actually I had brought up this article and it said we paid over 5,000 for a link or for SEO, for SEO link building at first traffic was boosted. However, we then lost our rankings on those keywords and our traffic is gone. What happened? And it was pushed over to, um, Mueller and, and he, he, I think he declined to answer that one, but um i thought Some it was shit that could have happened though well yeah and and what the, the interesting thing is is that you can look back to some of the answers he's given and kind of get an idea of what might have happened there like when he was asked about like penguin penalties and uh whether that's still relevant or whatever which it is relevant but it's just kind of in the algorithms it's it's like an algorithm. it's in there um they're just they're looking for patents and then they devalue shit but if they devalue enough they can wait you and then they'll, they'll they'll kind of want to trust you more, and they'll look a little bit more at the eat of your like content. Like, is your content up to par? Like, all these things kind of like are a check and balance to like look at certain things. So um, when you spend five thousand for link building, there's a lot of like I think of a lot of shit that could be wrong with what happened. Um, first off, how long has it been? Has it been two years? And yeah. or has it been you know did it go up and it was good for a little bit then drop? after this update that uh, you know these updates and stuff like what's the time frame but also did the seo kind of skimp on you and give you a bunch of nonsense um that's why i, I kind of say like i like site bulb for link building and I, I should be a little more specific i like site bulb for link quality checking um and the way and 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 making decisions on if i do want links or not and and so there's a good chance that it could be something with flagging like that um and then there's also a great chance that the content's fucked and it's never been good. And they tried to override the content with link building, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, authority is built by linking. Uh, so it's an interesting question, dude. Flavia has another question. What are you recommending for tier one Facebook, Google sites, Twitter, Tumblr, or guest posts? Uh, Facebook, Google Sites, Twitter, and Tumblr would all be tied to the entity, and then you can use guest post after that if you want. But the cheapest and easiest is usually like niche edits. So after you get your your entity established, I would go go with that. Yeah, I I think that going with uh, like separating them in your head and, and saying okay, we want to establish an entity, and 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 I think Rob in the audience calls it an SEO shield or something. I don't I think it's or some or R, it's ROIS or whatever you want to do. Yeah. But the the contextual and authority that you're looking the at, SEO jockstrap, I think is what he calls it. Guess posting like I I recommend that you look and understand like how website structure works and and really pay attention to things where like what the in AA drafts like looking at the internal linking patterns and what is pointing at the pages after that you get put up and all this shit like guest posts that are going to go up and just disappear out of the structure and be useless are just useless in my opinion um even 
like I'd, ra- I'd much rather get a guest post with like no tiering behind it that's in the navigational structure or in a cluster rather than something that drops out orphans and then has links to it because that's a super I mean, it's just a, a shitty PBN. You asked yeah. about quality and what we just said, losing 5,000 on link building. You go out and spend 5,000 on guest posts that are in there for a little bit and then they get orphaned. There's a good reason why that might have dropped, right? So um, just be careful when you do it. But yeah. SEO shield, he said. I was close. SEO jockstrap was a that close second. That always freaks me out, dude. Whoop. That's and the last thing you see before you die, Mike. Rob, 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 Rob. Uh, currently doing CTR manipulation on social media to drive traffic to the playlist, but it still doesn't seem to generate organic YouTube search traffic on YouTube. I just can't talk to you because you never have like told us who you are, unless you found out, Greg. No, nah, he's never messaged me um, at all. He seems to like you, though. Um. I'm going to pretend he's only here when I'm here, and it's because of me. He comes on and ties a lot of shit, though, but a lot of it's build. I think that's a lot of wasted time and effort from live IRL fan. Uh, Maybe he's just so rich that he he needs something to do. I have a feeling he's doing well, and and he is just trying to grow different things and experiment, because that's usually what ends up happening when I'm sitting around uh, Mm and something to do. I have to get in that mode, that mood, you know? But back to what he said about like the uh, the music marketers, like, and I made the joke about like just capitalizing on society. I think that paying attention to marketers from all industries that use platforms excessively or a lot is really important. I mean, you get ideas for other markets and other things from anyone around you. So I would watch an interview with somebody's doing really well on Spotify and try to put it in my freaking mind bank for the future for sure, dude. I don't think yeah. it's a bad idea at all. That listen, I think for the, the podcast, the interview thing that I do, um, I don't want to just keep interviewing SEO dudes because I've done that. <laughs> it's good to just get never interviewed me. Stuff. Yeah, what the hell? You never interviewed me either. Yeah, because you're not SEOs. That's a good point. We are very true. <laughs> yeah, that could probably um, explain it. Yeah. Um, you know, I've got a bunch, of buddies, a bunch of buddies that are not in digital marketing. They literally, I said painting, but that's what they do. They have commissioned paint studios. They teach painting lessons. They they are in the painting space for fucking miniatures. And What's that? Uh, that kind of um, like the, for the girls' night out where you can drink wine and paint or whatever. Yeah, the plates or some shit. I don't know. No, you, it's like a canvas, but like that you've got it traced. Yeah, but it looks all. You're like you really painted that? Yeah, it was like traced before, but. You just pretty much color it with painting. Um, no, but really though, like they do very well. Their businesses excel. They make a great living doing that because of how they use platforms like um, Instagram, uh, Twitch, and and YouTube integrated to each other. Kind of like we would think of it like IFTTT, but they use it with a real marketing plan where um, you know. YouTube shorts are teasers for a YouTube video that is a teaser for a Twitch stream or a paid masterclass or something like this. So they are funnels. They don't really understand that they're doing that. They do it kind of like automatically. Um, and But they do it. And if they optimize little points of it, they would do even better. But when you find you find little markets that have money, you can, you can kill it with that kind of marketing. Like I know SEOs that are really good SEOs that like shifted to Spotify and started making music and that's what they do now because it is, is that rodden is he a music guy now which one rodden rodden oh no he's a crypto dude i know a lot of people should shift it to crypto but i've been doing do it. for the market we're in like, a lot and crypto and uh putting some content time together around it because we got the site there and uh might as well do something with it it's been a year yeah right there there is uh there is literally a market and facilities for it, dude. Yeah. Freaking hilarious. Flavia's got a question for you, Mike. Um, you were hit by the latest Google update. I, know, I was talking about that article. I was not hit. I'm sorry if that was confusing. You got to do SEO to be get hit. Yeah, be dude. getting hit by an update. I don't look at sites at all. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like my friend was hit by an update, but I don't. 
But then you got to have friends to have a friend hit by an update. Yeah, so that exactly. leaves me out. This morning I said, he, they said, thanks for reaching out. And I said, yeah, I don't have a lot of friends. I got to say. <laughs> Who not. said that? The dude I mentioned earlier. Oh, yeah. Like I, don't, I got like, I can count them on one hand, dude, the people that I talk to. So I'm surprised you can count that high. Yeah, I can count up to this. Yeah. But guys, keep your questions coming. We do have like 20 minutes left. So All right, let questions, me, uh, keep them coming, it, guys. It is uh, funny, though. Like I had, I've heard it before, but I heard it again recently. It's um, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I feel like that's what we use internet marketing with i i can do that that's a nail and then you're like what you know i know how to fix this we'll just shove leads down their throat and like rank a gmb like any business i feel like i go into i feel like it's gonna have i'm just gonna be walking around with a fucking hammer yeah right <laughs> bam, bam. yeah well when you see something that makes money dude it's hard not to like go back to that yeah here's uh mabe has a good um something you could get in an argument about with someone that likes guest posts uh guest posts are better than niche edits or vice versa mike uh i would say it depends but i would rather take uh, the, like you're gonna hit if you're getting a real edit you're gonna hit more on quality usually with the edit than the guest post so quality like, from a ranking standpoint not quality from a because a, a lot of the edits that we have we could show clients that's why we limit our client work we could show the clients and they're like this isn't quality it's like yeah it is no I it's not out my quality analysis process uh the other yeah. day and um i think people are completely blind to what quality really is to be honest. Yeah. Like, thinking about what i'm seeing in the marketplace and um what people say like i don't think anyone understands what a quality link is yeah so so if you're running an agency and you actually have to show the clients your the links that you're building at least on tier one I would go with guest posts and then back those up potentially with uh, niche edits. Um, then it's all a fugazi. Um, and then if if you're running just your own sites, like Mike and I are building out a network now um, that we're going to rank. And, um, you know, it, I'm assuming we're going to do all edits for that. Is that the plan? Most likely, depending yeah. on what the profiles end up being with everything going in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, after the entity is established, I mean, yeah. 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 yeah we're not gonna do outreach or anything for that shit. no so that uh the plug-in uh you know entities the plug-in and edits i mean it's you can go pretty long ways with that so so yeah like um but that's like what, what i've been looking at with that outline i was talking about dude was like how where where it all makes sense and and where people are kind of missing and and spending money on something that probably is not going to do any good for them like because they don't understand that like it like you said the color the client it looks better to have this shared post and piece of content on this awesome site but then like they don't have any clue that that post is now lost and an orphaned yeah. fucking page in that website that is now just not even going to get crawled again and it's going to yeah. drop out of the index eventually or it reminds me of the time that my uh brother tried to get into uh agency SEO. So I said, yeah, I can help you with everything. So um, we, I help him, we sign up the client. Uh, we, he's, they're in 3D printing. So they do a bunch of different kinds of 3D printing, but they had specific types of 3D printing that they wanted to target. So it was a hockey stick for rankings, Ahrefs, everything, Ahrefs, GSC, you know, just, you know, straight up. One month in, they asked for a report, okay. Uh, well, we need to see a backlink report. Well, we don't usually provide this and they wouldn't let us touch the site. So I'm having to send them like essentially uh, pretty up cognitive good. reports and send it over. But it's straight the fuck up. We we had the niche edits on um, 3D printing articles and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, your typical niche edit looking thing where it looks like dog shit, but it pushes. Um, so we sent, I'm like, all right, if they want the report, they can have it. So we send the report over. I didn't think they would cancel. They fucking canceled, even though like hockey stick straight up. Yeah, right? no, people, um, yeah, you have to be careful just because people have a percept, like a pre, we had a conversation with someone that was talking about link spam for eternal linking. Like you just don't know. That was odd. That was an odd conversation. Um, cause I, I could. I could get along with the guy until he yeah. said that and he read as the quality score uh, yeah, bullet points. 
people have a lot of misconception and it's actually really not that freaking complicated and difficult. I just think that there's so much nonsense. The hard part is they don't understand clustering, I think. Mm -hmm. And that how is, uh, yeah. the site should be interlinked. And when you're interlinking it and it looks like you're just interlinking without a purpose, um, and this doesn't make sense to link over to this, even though it's a statistically improbable phrase for that term. So it does need to be on the page. It so took much. a half hour presentation to get dude um, to actually see how the difference between like a funnel and a, 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 a content group really is like a like a content cluster yeah. and how they're not the same thing. You know, um, it's like advertising to a landing page and that landing page can point wherever you want it. But yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting, um, but I, I think the presentation we put together for him actually works the way it's explained now, which is nice. So, yeah, uh, I I need to get into affiliate more to be honest, but PPL for the win for me. It's been the most consistent revenue driver th throughout my SEO career. Oh, is a maybe. question for you, Brad. Good. It's good. Yeah, I keep them smaller. So like I, I like to keep it like state level um, is the easiest if you're doing like localized type stuff. But yeah, um, I'll do just really tight clusters. I'll take my time. Um, and I what, I mean, it, if you haven't heard how I, I'm spinning articles and stuff right now, you basically use like a cognitive list. I think Surfer, do they provide the list like the, the list like cognitive or no? We would go with cognitive over yeah. it. So I'll use that in the, so I'll optimize the article for, with uh, cognitive and then I'll take, when I go to spin it, uh, to throw the stuff into, um, into a uh, SERP shaker, I'll uh, make sure when I do the, generate the spin tax, I'll use the cognitive list in there, deduped of course, and um, make sure that that's in there when I, I generate the spin tax. So it doesn't de-optimize it on that level and then I'll put it out and then it's just, uh, you might, I mean, right now the hard part is uh, getting it, keeping it indexed. So, I mean, you might need to do I know they come in and out, but honestly, yeah, they uh, if they're coming in and out and they're not staying out, then I'm not too concerned with it, to be honest. Um, yeah. It, it'll, it'll change. Over I honestly time. think if, uh, if you have enough for a linking budget, which this is something That's I exactly test, right. then it won't matter because you can link to it. If you can get your link costs low enough, um, then it really doesn't matter. And I'm not talking like um, you're just building GSA to it or anything. I mean, like real that. links. Yeah, yeah. So, like, not, 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 not powerless guest posts either. Like, real, real links. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't waste my money on the powerless guest posts. It's just, it's a middle masturbation type thing with that. It, show it to your clients and then that's yeah, it. That's, that's like fodder for like reports and shit. Yeah. In my opinion. It could be a tier one if you're going to back it up. But if you're going to back it up with uh, stuff that really pushes, why not just send that direct, especially if it's for PPL? We have a database. Yeah. Do you guys sell guest posts? We could. Do. Yeah. Do you sell guest posts, Craig? Guest posts. Not, not, not to, not to ZD Electrical. I don't have any electrical ones. Yeah. But. I mean, he can hit us up if he wants to. I mean, uh, an email is Mike at Pierce at gmail .com and he can. I, I'll try to check it. Hashtag spam Mike. Hashtag. Hashtag spam Mike. I spam Mike. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, well, no, and, and and I honestly like I was talking to someone over the last a couple people over the last couple of days about like okay, should I buy this here? Should I buy this there? And it came down to like, well, just go to the smaller package and then buy this to that smaller package. And so sometimes the packages in the in public are not set up the way you want them to actually like be set up. They'll do you set them prefer up. a larger package, Mike, or do you do you feel I like a smaller package is more nimble? Large. Larger? Okay. Yeah. Really? Except uh, I like my women shorter. Yeah. Makes you feel bigger. I get yeah. it. <laughs> smaller. It's like porn, dude, when they film porn. You know, you need small women with big dude so yeah that's i've never been in the industry but there I was a comment that. about the um the, the thumbnails on youtube and the mouse over and uh on that note on the porn note or, or whatever um that's absolutely right and they do it they've been doing it at like x -hamp, like those kind of places like when they build your your profile the tube sites uh, yeah they, they they they're watching how long you're actually watching the mouse over clip 
um, yeah. how you click through. Like there are, there are, they are calculating your profile based on this. And it, when we Who did has this, an actual profile on there. Yeah. They, well, even, even if you're not logged in, there's still, if you look in your cookies, yeah, like you will have a cookie that says whether you're gay or straight. Like I'm not even joking, bro. They tell that your cookie in your browser will say if you're gay or straight, whether you've logged in. I don't think it could tell you if I am. Right. Yeah, that, dude, my shit's fucked, bro. Um, but uh, no, but that's like what we talked about at the event, and I think I think we might be doing one again this year. We've been talking about it because there's updates that need to happen to um, the mini net training, right? And we were talking about profile based SEO and how. Um, X hamster or porn sites are related to um, like local service sites and things. And, and so when you start to see this coming into the major shit, nice chase. Thanks, bro. I need I owe you I actually meant to message you yesterday and I'm sorry I'm behind this week and I am getting to you. I am a dick. Um, <laughs> Chase's people should watch his stream, dude. Whenever it pops up in YouTube for me, I pop in there, and every time I pop in there, there's a fucking nugget. What popped up with it was him and um, that one dude. Uh, what's his name? Guy from Wisconsin. Chase, what's his name? The guy from Wisconsin you were on the stream with recently. You're showing off Shine Ranker. Um, Paul. Paul. Where's the cat? Paul something. The cat turned into Paul a Paul James. Paul James is what it was. Yeah, it took me a second. PJ is a witch. He turned a cat into a car. A very nice car. Yeah. It wasn't even a black cat. That's what's impressive That's the most. Weird, dude. Usually yeah. the car's the same color. Yeah. Yeah. Calico car. Um, Ranker X. Useful. I don't use it. Um, and then there was a B Bong Gaming. Uh, is GSA useful for ranking? If you know how to use it, I'm sure it is, but I gave up on it a long time ago, to be honest. Or I would say Rob would say that GSA is very useful for ranking. Right, would Rob? Rob say that? I'm sure he would. Um, if you know how to use them properly, then these tools yeah. have a place in the, the industry. I just never could fucking figure it out. I gave up. The the, uh, the guys that actually use GSA, like search engine, like uh, Sir and all those things, and, and X Rummer and everything. I can't believe that shit's still around, but yeah, I, I know people crazy, use it. Bro. Yeah. It's crazy, dude. Like, some of that shit is nuts how, how efficient it can be if you if you filter it properly. But it to me, it's just much easier to go and, and have databases and just place shit when it needs to be placed and not have to run a server. Um, and everything. I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Lazy ass approach. Get yeah. it to someone. Oh, absolutely. It's, I also, it is actually, I tr I will keep saying it, it is cheaper to go buy niche edits than to run GSA effectively. In my opinion. That server, then you log on to your server and it's all jacked up and it's frozen and it's just frustrating as piss. I was trying to, after the first uh, OMG event, because Jimmy talked about it, I was like, this is what I need to learn. I convinced myself. And then I I learned it, but I, have, I, I did push the shit out of Amazon for a long time. For me, the, the most problems with all tools are how they have spiky hair. <laughs> oh, man. Those are the, the biggest issues for me, Rob, for sure. With all it's the... Like the, the, the RYS that they do or whatever link building they're doing, what they're, well, I don't know what they're calling it now. Or if it's he the said the shield. No, Big that's shield. I asked about SEO shield. And I know that that's what they're doing, like for the yeah. and SEO dick shield. But um, the way they they are ranking, too, is, is similar as that as well. And they just have always done it like I mean, Marco has been doing it literally since like 2014 or 15. Like and uh, Marco's still doing stuff. Yeah, Marco and Rob have like heavy hitters or some. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I thought I thought Rob was running it. Maybe not. I think it's Marco and Rob. Nice. I could be wrong. It's a good combo. I haven't talked to Marco in a bit. I need to hit him up actually. See how he's doing. He's in Puerto Rico, right? Or somewhere? Yeah. Colombia, something like yeah, that. Puerto Rico. Wherever in Conto is filming. Puerto Rico. I, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't go there. I'd burn. Angel was going to have a party there, dude. Costa Rica. Puerto Rico. Oh yeah. Because you can buy the whole island for like two dollars for a weekend. Oh, that should be our next event then. That's right. Um, you have to. Like, I, 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 I like, insulted a whole country. I'm sorry, everyone. Don't shoot me. It, it's not a real country though. It's a territory. 
Betsy oh, he's out guys, of yes, that's did right. You, did you guys see the guys that done the SEO mansion? You never considered doing some shit like that? I thought about it. Like what they do? I just uh, they the probably rented a mansion. mansion. Yeah. Well, I, I used to rent houses like on the beach and stuff for a bunch of people and everything. Yeah. But. Dude, um, the the guy, the U.S. guy that is out your way, um, that has the castle, uh, Dan Pena. Yeah. Did you look oh, him yeah. up? Yeah. yeah. I, I just want to. I'll buy a castle somewhere in the mountains over here. I'm not going to go to Europe. Um, buy a castle somewhere, and then we can just have the events there. I'll write the whole fucking thing off. That'd be fun. Yeah. If you get a big anaconda, I'd come. Well, come on over then. Come on. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I've heard stories, bro. You gotta have buns, huh? I'm scared. So, oh, are you man. saying can we get all those questions? Um, solar? Do you say? Oh, yeah, uh, solar. Um, Solo, I yeah. help people with solar. I've never actively worked a campaign. The, the problem with solar, um, when I look at it, is uh, the amount of um, locations available for it weren't large enough for me. So I never really got into it heavily. Uh, but I'm sure there's opportunity there. I went into a safe today, Craig, and there was a bunch of money missing. And I said, who has the combination to the lock? He said... <laughs> I no one. I, I don't lock it. I was like, well, that's no, probably why your money is. It's a fire safe, right? And I freaked out, dude. I'm like, where the hell is money, dude? Um, Bitch, but I have my money. Brad goes, uh, you better hope your wife didn't just get a gym. <laughs> <laughs> you know why I say that, though? Because Kelsey just got a gym membership. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> yeah, bro. Oh. Okay, and, yeah, Rob uh, said that they are nice. partners doing heavy hitters. I'm going to run some tests, uh, Rob. I'll, I'll hit you up about heavy hitters. I want to buy some services from you. Yeah. Dude, it's what services is Rob selling? Uh, so hitters. they have always been doing like, what are the services? Just list them out, Rob, so we know. A lot of it is um, the the stacks and stuff done the right way, from yeah. my understanding. The original ones, honestly, like literally no joke, the original way that it was done in Japan based on like what everyone was doing back in like 2014 or 15 with that shit. Well, not everyone, but like Marco and um, I was, they, we were doing similar things. Kind of just shifted after that because of different values. Yeah. But yeah, Rob. I mean, the problem with, um, I mean, I wouldn't want to be a part of semantic mastery because they're, they're doing that shit all it seems like every fucking day they're having a, i don't think a, rob and marco are part anymore no i think that uh they, they parted ways and they're doing their thing now and hernan got a, a job with uh kern right yeah remember that because we were doing we had hernan doing web traffic takeover for a bit and mm -hmm. then uh kern offered him a job i said yeah i would i would probably go with kern over <laughs> me as well Brad and Mike or, or uh, <laughs> Frank Kern. Yeah. It's like, um, yeah, it's a no fucking brainer, dude. Yeah. Talk about a heavy hitters club, right? That's right. Is Todd still in the industry? He's in and out. I feel like, I feel like I see him pop up every That's once in a while. She said. Yeah. Not very many times. He's been in and out more than I usually am. So. What are your services, bro? Do you have a dog catcher? Cause the dogs are freaking out. What's yeah, the dog, dude? Give it a, I'm, I'm not even going to see it. I'm going to see give it a kick, but that wouldn't be the right thing to say. Uh, let's see. But yeah, Rob, I don't let's know you. Dude, I do love Rob's hat on the Heavy Hitter Club, Heavy Hitter dot Club uh, homepage. This is it Heavy Hitter dot Club? Yeah, Heavy Hitter dot Club. If this hat is sexy, Rob. Like seriously sexy, bro. That's an Indiana hat for sure. I haven't okay. even brought it up yet. No doubt. That's sexy as hell. Self-storage would be one I'd get into, Craig. Yes. I, I'm looking at the same list as you right now, bro. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I wouldn't want to do tree. Tree, everyone undercuts you. No, dude, you, it's funny as tree. We had guys out here for seven months cutting the forest surface stuff, dude. But is it heavy um, hitters, like plural or heavy hitter club or heavy hitters? I don't know. I, I closed it. It is hitter, no plurality. H E A V Y H I T T E R. 
Hitter, heavy hitter dot club. Yeah, that's what I typed in. I'm going to drop it in. He called me a oh, drone, dude. He's like literally got a freaking URL variable that says I'm a drone. I'm going to drop oh, it into the chat for the private one, and you can put it out there. So if people are asking, there it is, Craig. Two. Two, two. Store is above my comment. Yeah. Store is you go my out there, Rob. If they stop all those dirty spammers coming in, sending his links to their fucking junk, and but there you go. That is for Rob Beal. Um, what the fuck? So is this like a mastermind group type thing? They have that. They have like a Facebook group and Brad, Brad ran away and mastermind group and all that. But they sell services. I know. Cool. Um, I don't know if Brad had to bail for a call. We, we are at three minutes past six. But guys, do check out Rob Beal, um, Heavy Hitter Club. He has got services that you may be interested in. So go and spam the shit out of him and uh, see what the fuck he's got. <clears throat> but I think, yeah, I'm going to make the assumption B Rad had to bail for a call or something. And yeah, he uh, did. Out of time. Um, imagine not even saying goodbye, fucking be that. Um, but yeah, we are out of time, guys. We Hello. will catch you next week, same time. Do check out ODYS um, and all that good stuff, and we'll catch you again next week. Hey, thanks, everyone. <laughs>